Hi, this is PD at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and this is tutorial 114. Uh, there was one little thing I omitted from our last tutorial that I just completely forgot about. And that was the ability, ability to detect the range you are from a chest. Because you don't want to be opening a chest that's, you know, quite a bit further away than uh, where your character is standing. I know there's a couple ways to do it. Some people mentioned doing ray casts. And you don't really need to do a ray cast, I don't feel anyway. You can just check the distance. And you basically don't want your player opening the chest unless he's standing right next to it anyway. So if there's a wall between you and the chest, he shouldn't be able to open it. But anyway, anyway, let's just go ahead and add some code to check for distance. So I'm going to open up Mono Develop. I'll attempt to. And here we go. I've got my chest script opened. And what I'm going to do is just come down to the beginning of our state machine, which is right here. Oh, sorry, that's our on mouse up, which is where we want it. And we're just going to check the distance. First thing we're going to want to do is just check to make sure the player is there. So we'll make a temporary game object. And I'm just going to call him Geo. And we'll just say game object dot find uh, we want object with tag make sure object is singular and the tag we're looking for in my case I've called mine player and then we'll want to check to see if uh, the player is there well if, if, if uh, the game object returned anything so we're going to say if geo is equal to null so basically it could not find the player Let's just return. So if we can't find the player, don't even bother going any further in this function. Just get out and you know do nothing else. And then after that, if it gets past this, that means we actually do have a player, or at least we found them. We're just going to want to compare the distance between where this chest is and where the player is. So we'll just say if vector3 dot distance and we'll want two va values here and the they both want to be vector threes so we'll just use our distance or our position vector dot position and the position of our player which we have stored in our temporary variable geo so we'll just say geo dot transform dot position oh no colon and we'll want to make sure that it's, uh, we'll say if it's greater than 2. Now this value is going to be different for each person because I believe when it's measuring your transforms, it measures from the, the center point of your transform. So if you have a really fat model, uh, you might actually have to increase this number. And then again, if you have a really skinny model, you might want to decrease this number. We're probably better off making it a variable. And let's just do that. We'll just come up to the top here. Just so we can expose it in the inspector and you can change it to whatever you want. So I'm just going to call this public float. Float, I said. Public float. Um, and I'll just say max distance. And I'm going to start mine off at 2. And we'll just toss a quick comment in there. The max distance the player can be to open this chest and I'll just copy that variable down here this way it's a little bit easier to test while the game is running because you can just keep changing the distance so if the player is greater than max distance again we're just going to return okay so basically if they're under the max distance then we'll go into the state machine, which allows them to open it. So I'm just going to save this off. We'll go back into Unity. And no error, so let's fire it up. And you'll notice that you can still highlight it from afar. And this is the behavior I want, because I want people to know, like, regardless of how far away they are, that you know there's something over there they can interact with. If you try to click it, it's not going to work. So let's move a little bit closer. I don't want to be able to open it from here. 
And here's probably about the minimum I want him to be to open it. So he can open it, but he has to be really close. Right about there. And that's fine. Oh, my model seems to be really getting stretched out for some reason. That's okay. I know his idle animation, the curves on the transforms aren't right. So one day I'll get around to fixing that. <laughs> But anyway, so that's a quick fix to get it to work for distance. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.